much. And sorry it's my first time vlogging today, but I had to rush to get out the house again because I have to go early for some reason. Because my sister had to do, I had to play with the orchestra or whatever. So, yeah. Today, I think when I get home, I'm going to keep Christmas decorating. And, yeah, and I'll probably, like, show you guys, like, the whole house tour. House tour of, like, the Christmas decorations like I did last year. Yeah. Guys, so obviously I'm out of school right now, but I have something I have to talk about that happened in school. Sorry. I just ate, uh, um dumb dumb but I have something very important to talk about that happened in school today <laughs> no but for real okay so there's this boy in my class he is autistic but he he's not what you think he's like he knows what's going on it's just he talks and stutters basically he knows what's going on. Let me repeat. He knows what's going on. He does regular work. He's very smart, actually. But something crazy happened today. So today in my class, we were playing Taboo as a class. And um, as you know, in Taboo, you shout out answers. So people were shouting out answers. And this boy decides to say... I can't understand you guys because I don't speak ghetto. Like, what? Like, what? I heard it at first, but then I was like, he did not just say that. Like, that this isn't happening right now. So I was like, then this girl that was by him was like, excuse me? Because she was black. She was like, excuse me? And then she was like, are we just going to act like he didn't just say what he just said? And then the whole class got quiet. And the teacher was like, what did he just say? And then she said it. Like, she was like, I don't understand you guys because I don't speak ghetto. And then everyone went off. Like, everyone in the class started screaming like, what do you mean? Just everyone started going off on him. And I don't blame them because that's very offensive. Like, very offensive. So, the teacher was trying to get everyone quiet, and while she's trying to get everyone quiet, peep, everyone's going off on him. He's like, hey, guys! Like, screaming at the top of his lungs. He's like, hey, guys! And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Me and Kayla were looking at each other like, this is crazy. When he first said it, my jaw dropped. I was like, like that's literally what I was like so anyway the teacher stopped she finally got everyone quiet and she was like do you guys trust me and I was like mm, I don't really know about you because this teacher is very rude to me like she's so rude it's like she plays favorites with whatever anyway she's rude so I don't really like her so when she said do you trust me I was like mmm and she was like, just trust me, I'll handle this after class. And I was like, are you really going to? Because he insults, us, insults the whole class all the time. All the time. He gets away with doing a very disrespectful stuff and no one punishes him. Like, just as an example, we were reading this passage and it said, the kids were loud and didn't listen or something like that. And he said, so basically this whole class, like what who who are you anyway whew, whew. okay let me calm myself down so yeah then later on he said why did this have to happen and he was still talking about you know the whole ordeal and then the teacher said why did what have to happen and he said me why did i have to happen i was like what is he even talking about at this point anyway then Later on, the teacher, people were being rude to each other in class. And she was like, come on, can we all, we're all trying to be decent humans here. The teacher said that. And then he started to say something, but the teacher stopped him because everyone in the class was already mad at him. about to say something very rude, so. And I, she stopped him, and thank goodness she did, because that class would have went off again. Again. Because that's just rude. Like, just because you have autism doesn't mean you can be rude to everyone. So, 
yeah, that was basically that. And I hope that something is done about that because that's actually rude. That's in the Publix parking lot right now, and we just went to the bank, and I just got picked. I got picked up from school, then my mom went to the bank, then we're here at Publix right now. But I decided to stay in the car so I could talk to you guys. And ooh, this lighting. Let me get on Snapchat real quick and take a picture. Okay, good night, guys. Tomorrow, I'm only going to school from 10 to 1 for, for my first exam, which is biology, which is going to be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Anyway, so I'll be off most of the day tomorrow. So, yeah, get excited. I will see you guys tomorrow. Love you guys so much. You guys are truly sensational. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>